What's up nerds, I'm Ben, and recently I checked out the new Netflix series, Narcos Mexico. So is this new installment in the Narcos franchise worth your time? Stay tuned to find out. So Narcos Mexico tells the story of the infamous Guadalajara cartel, which was Mexico's first major drug cartel. It was formed in the early 1980s by the former federal police agent played by Diego Luna. And he's going up against a, a DEA agent played by Michael Pena, who's pretty much the only honest cop in this world of bribery and corruption. Welcome to Guadalajara. Thank you, sir. We've seen the desert. Time to meet the snakes. Narcos Mexico acts as a bit of a reset button for the Narcos franchise. But long-term fans should be pleased to learn that there's actually quite a few major crossovers with those previous seasons, including a couple of story threads, but also some pretty major characters coming in. Think of it like the MCU, if the Avengers were in the drug trafficking business instead of the saving the world business. Well, jefe, jefe. There's some great twists and turns in this show, and even though we were only given the first five episodes to review, the pace of this is really nice. Uh, it tells a lot of story in a short space of time. But the main shortcoming of Narcos Mexico is the familiarity of what we're seeing. This is the rise and fall of a drug kingpin story that we've seen so many times in, oh, well, I'll, I'll just put it out there, okay? Scarface is the obvious one. There's dialogue in this that could be lifted directly from Scarface. But to be fair, there is a character on this show who models himself basically on Tony Montana. <laughs> the cast are all pretty solid. There's a lot of young Mexican actors in this, and for a lot of them, this would have been their first big budget television show. I think they're clearly having a blast here playing these deplorable characters. But for me, the standout performance is Michael Pena. Now he's someone who's done a lot of comedic work lately, but this is a good reminder of just how good he can be in a dramatic role. He's just playing a normal dude, put in an impossible situation, and it's just refreshing to see him changing gears here. Who's that guy? Miguel Felix Gallardo. The Rockefeller of marijuana. Yeah, and bust his ass. Mm -hmm. So as I've said, Narcos Mexico doesn't really cover any new ground we haven't seen in the likes of Sicario, Traffic, even shows like Breaking Bad and of course the earlier seasons of Narcos. But if you have an interest in this bloody chapter of Mexico's history, then I think you're already pretty much sold on this. But I think that's just about enough from me. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more reviews like this. And until next time, I'll see you nerds on the couch. See, cause, cause we're movie nerds, but this is a television show. Get it guys? Do, do you get it?